Hi. Um, how to start this? Um, two or three weeks back, it was kind of suggested that I could maybe do devotional or, you know, say a word or something. Um, and I didn't. Kept putting it off. Um, and then I point blank got asked, can you do devotional the next few days? And again, I kind of... Um, I guess I struggled. I struggled to to do something. Why? Why is that? Um, and I guess it's because I've been struggling to connect with God lately, the last couple of weeks or so. And um, and it's like, why? Why? Why am I struggling? I do my duties. I go to work. I do a job I don't particularly enjoy doing, but I'm sure God wants me there. Um, I continue to do kids' work through the pandemic, with Sunday school and extreme um reading the bible uh doing my regular quiet time routine which is like get up in the morning um make a coffee and then i start to read the verse of the day there's like an app that does like a, a bit more a mini devotional and then a, a lecture 365 and um, i do that every day and it's like well you know what, what why why am i not hearing god why am i not there's something not right um, and I think it's just I thought about it. I guess it's just routine, gone through the motions. Um, I'm not actually hearing God. Um, and then I thought, well, you know, what's that saying? Um, only a fool does the same thing time and time again and expects a different result. Uh, I guess that was me. Um, so I need to change. So yesterday I um, started to do my reading at the verse of the day. I think it was yesterday, uh, it said Ezekiel 36, 26 to 27. Um, but instead of reading it and doing my usual routine, I decided to, to pray it. So, uh, you know, this is what I said. I said, Lord, give me a new heart. Put a new spirit in me. Please help me to remove the stone heart from my body and replace it with a heart that's God-willed, not self-willed. Please put your spirit in me and make it possible for me to do what you want me to and to live by your commandments. And I, as soon as I did that, I felt like God has spoke to me um, the first time in weeks and sort of said, stop, um, stop and look for me. Um, I'm everywhere. Just see me. And then I looked out the window um, and I saw a, chaff, a, a goldfinch, um, which is a beautiful, brightly coloured bird. Um, when I was younger, I used to I used to be a bit of a bird watcher. Um, I'm sure some of you that know me say that's no surprise, but I mean the feathered kind. Um, but I guess he just wanted to talk to me, uh, talk to have me talk to him, just to see him. And not just to serve him, but just to go through the motions. Um, and that made me think also about the most important commandment um, from Mark 12, 30. Um, and you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind and all your strength. Um, and I think I've probably been doing all your mind and all your strength, doing my duties, doing what I think is right. Um but missing the point, missing the point that he wants the heart and the soul as well. Um, I can just imagine God kind of face palm in his way through through my life. Um, as I kid myself lately that I've had a relationship with him just because I was doing my duty. But he wants so much more than that. He wants he wants me, he wants my heart, my soul. Um, and I've not been giving him that. And then, um, and that's wrong. Um, and I know that I'm, I'm, I know I'm not alone. I'm not sure there must be others out there um, who must be struggling to see God and hear Him. And I'm sure when they, when they see people say, "Oh, it's a great time. I've got loads of time to spend with God," and you know, loads of people saying, "Oh, it's great. This devotional time, I'll devotion every day." And every time you see that, if you're struggling. 
um, it must just be another kick in the teeth. Another well, why am I? Why am I stupid? Why why can't I hear anything? Why why am I struggling? And um, if I'm honest, even just now, just as I was about to video this, um, Lisa came upstairs and said, "Ma, Ma, Mariah," and uh, I immediately stopped through what I'd written down away, and I let the voices in again. Um, and the voices aren't from God. The voices that tell me, don't, don't do it. Who wants to hear what you've got to say? Um, that's not God. That's not my father who loves me. Um, and I need to just, just stop. And I could have easily just run away and gone, oh, forget it, forget it. But no, I grabbed a beer. Um, and I came back. And I think if you're struggling, you're not alone. I am too. And I'm sure there are others. Um, and when you do struggle, you've just got to find a way to stop, look, listen, um, rekindle your love life with God. Um, don't just serve God. Don't kid yourself that that's enough. Um, you need to love him truly with all your heart and all your soul. Jesus told us that's, that's the most important command. And I keep coming back and that's what I refer, refer to when I'm struggling, is just love him. Just say, I'm broken, I'm sorry. Help me, I love you. Just stop, listen, and hear him, and see him and everything, and the little things. And and when you do, um, I know, I know that my God will give me a new heart, and he'll give me a new spirit, so that I can do what he wants me to do give me his will carry out his will do it he's awesome and he's waiting arms open